Snapogram. <laughs> Any other ideas? Insta Snap. <laughs> So let's talk about InstaTalk. No, Instagram. Instagram. Right, and what we're gonna do about it. So how much of the content you see today, do we all see today on Instagram inspires you, makes you feel good, makes you feel... Fuzzy, like you, <laughs> warm and fuzzy. Like you're part of a community, like it used to back in the day, you know? How much of the content do you see of friends, family, and of creators that you follow that you want to see what they post? Instagram is confused. They've been confused for a while. You know, a while back they thought they're Snapchat and now they think they're Instagram. Instatag. Instatag. And they just keep changing their mind and chasing the next trend instead of catering to the community that we came to the platform for as, you know, casual users, as creators, which is photography. They completely forgot about that. That went way in the back burner. Yeah, they're forgetting about real people. They're just th thinking about the bots. What Facebook and Instagram and all those platforms really have to understand is that without us people, you know, casual users, creators especially, there wouldn't be a social media. So they forgot that they really are supposed to cater to the people that are making their platform what it is and making them millions if not billions of dollars. We used to grow by the thousands, hundreds, thousands a month just by sharing our photography, our philosophy. The way we love our dogs and we inspired our community to live a richer, more fulfilling life with their dogs. And this is how we just organically grew our community on Instagram. And it was amazing. It was an amazing experience because when you work really hard on content and you get it seen and people are inspired by it, it makes it all worth it. But now, we lose hundreds of followers uh, per month on Instagram. Sometimes it's an up and down battle, but hey, should we even care? Because honestly, I feel like Instagram has become a place that is really made up of bots more than people. Mm. It's especially evident in the comment section and it just makes you wonder, you know, who are you really talking to? Because it seems that Instagram bots and the way you're able to create all these fake Instagram accounts and Insta farms or whatever you want to call them is really what's running the show these days. We don't know about you guys. We would love to hear your thoughts, but honestly, our feed, as we go into our feed, what we see is like maybe two to 5% photography. And that is majority of people we don't even follow or want to see their content. And the rest of it is re-uploads from TikTok, a bunch of corny reels, trendy garbage sprinkled with a nice dose of really off-putting adult content and yeah. that's just been such a turn off that it literally like I scroll and I just close the app I don't even want to look at it it's, it's unreal the stuff that Instagram is filled with and I can't believe that it's a platform that teens and kids are on this is completely uncalled mm. for why did we join Instagram before it became what Husky Squad is today it, there was a little bit of a background that we want to share with you because I think it's important that we all kind of know our own backstory. Ours was quite interesting. We were working for many years in our corporate. own business in corporate, but then we started our own business in tech and web and online media, online business, all that stuff. And we were super, super busy. We were working when you, when you have your own business, you tend to work even more than when you work for a company. Yeah, like 12 hour days. Yeah, no days off you know you're, you're always on call and we found ourselves kind of working to like living to work versus working to live <laughs> and um, it was 2016 around JC's birthday I asked him I was like hey you know if we didn't have all this work to do and we didn't need to work all this much what would you want to do with your life like what would your life look like camping spending more time outdoors with the squad just the, being the outdoors husky. yeah and that moment it hit me I was like why are we not doing that it's like we don't have to wait till we have time you know and we always wanted to do more hiking and camping but knowing now that it was JC's wish that he wanted to live 
life more like that. I was like, okay, we need to make this happen. So we started to schedule it. Mm -hmm. put it in our calendar and be very determined to make it happen and our commitment was like how are we going to follow through besides putting it in a calendar how are we going to follow through okay why don't we just take a photo because i've always loved photography and since i was really little pretty much i've been a photographer and then later on i started doing pro photography i've done a lot of real estate portraiture restaurants you name it tons of stuff over the years I can take my craft that I really love, which is photography, and the way I'm going to hold myself accountable that we're going to do what we say we're going to do is taking pictures of our experiences outdoors with a squad and share it, you know, on Instagram to whoever wants to see it. We just wanted to be like holding ourselves accountable. That was an important thing. And photography was something that I was able to contribute. And JC has been kind of messing with film on and off. I've always loved video. Yeah, even Editing when we lived in Wisconsin, remember you used to take little videos and edit yeah. them. Your yeah. commitment was, okay, I want to film and create little video journals and upload it to YouTube. And we were, we were on a schedule where every six weeks we need to go on a little camping trip and we must go every week on a really nice hiking trip, like a good almost full day hiking trip. So after making that decision, we started going outdoors more often. We started camping more, we started exploring the wildernesses, we started traveling to different states. Because it's something we always wanted to do, so our quality of life drastically improved. We found ourselves actually even more productive with our business too. It just became this amazing, fulfilling experience. And the quality of life of our dogs just like pretty much changed overnight, you know? Look at those faces. <laughs> they love they are always so happy and none of this would be possible if we didn't have that commitment to make that decision to change our life and doing what we love and documenting it and sharing it with friends and family and whoever wants to be part of our photo and video journal so that's really that was a big life-changing yeah. experience for us and that's how it all started yeah and honestly like we recommend this you know if you have a goal or a dream or a wish Time and time again, we found by now that if you plan it, like put it in your calendar and actually set yourself mini goals till you achieve the big goal and also do something that will motivate you, something that's fun. Like for us, it was tying in my love for photography, JC's love for video and making it something where we can really enjoy the process too. Combining those things together really made us hit the goal that we yeah. want, which is having a, a more a richer life especially putting it into the calendar and holding yourself accountable that really really works our instagram quickly went from being a photo journal where we document our experiences with our pups and youtube where we documented our video it completely changed we found ourselves growing a community with deep connections with people around the world who are inspired by our photography about our philosophy and the way we love our dogs because we really feel like dogs are family they are part of our family and we were so happy that we're finally able to give them the life that we feel like they deserved and that really translated to so many people around the world and it just became such a feel good place that not only is it our journal but it's impacting dogs and dog parents, dog parents. around the world and there was nothing like it as our community grew over the past six years, there was a lot that we shared with our community, like our camping experiences, our travels to the U.S. Yeah, our road trips, cabin hopping across the country. Our all Europe, the way, Europe yeah, trips. All the way to making it to Switzerland with the squad, French Alps, you know, all these incredible... We even shared about Titus's ACL injury and how he recovered, how he uh, helped Without recover. surgery, we shared that entire process and helped inspire so many dog parents. We get so many messages about the ACL injury subject and that's a really good feeling to be able to share our experiences. Reluctantly, we also shared our um, very intimate and... Titus's passing. Yeah, our very sad and, and heartbreaking experience of Titus's passing, but every one of you guys loved Titus so much that we felt that we really wanted to share you know, how we laid into rest and what the whole experience felt like. So we've gotten really close as a community, you know, and... And recently we shared where we live, our yeah, tiny, a tiny house. Yeah, tiny house, how we got a tiny house and we live in a tiny house with our three pups. And oh, also Nikolai's adoption story. 
so it's it's really become Instagram has really become and YouTube a, a, a place of community where we we really get to expand and and share more about our life and interact with others that are going through the same thing and it's really fostered um, a place where we feel like we felt like it was kind of part of our extended family and friend circle which was really really nice when we first started taking pictures of our dogs we realized very quickly that it's so different than taking pictures of people or food or architecture and real estate it's it's not easy when you first doing start doing dog photography let alone three dogs but we enjoyed it so much the whole process of learning how to take photos of them and understanding what they like because for us it's all about making it a nice experience for them not just for us it's so important that they love it as much as we do but over the years we've really mastered it and they actually enjoy taking photos like they understand the whole process and how it all works and they really really like it so photography is really a passion and something we just love doing with the husband squad but over the past what well, feels like maybe around six months or so maybe a little bit more it feels like all of our efforts and passion for photography and posting those those photos to Instagram it's kind of just disappearing into a black hole you know it's nobody is seeing them or very few people are seeing them the boss are definitely seeing them but it feels like everything we're doing and the love for photography on Instagram is just it just disappears into the abyss and it's it's not a good feeling and we know that so many creators are experiencing that and there's definitely a lot online that people are talking about um, but especially creators how all the the things they do that they love when it comes to photography and what Instagram was about it's just it's not there anymore you know Instagram has become a place of cheesy reels and people following trends and you know we see amazing creators and photographers who are um, lowering their standards into making those cheesy reels to, just to please an algorithm we don't want to create things things for Instagram or, or any place for that matter that is not authentic to our life we do what we love and we share what we love and we want to give you more of what we love instead of subjecting you to another cheesy reel or another strange thing trendy thing on Instagram so yeah, it's just not us it's not us and we feel like you guys deserve better to be real Instagram can do whatever they want it's their business yeah we're just they, the, it's a it's a I guess it's a free platform in a sense which it's not really and just because they decide to become tics to talk one day or snap the chat or <laughs> I don't know <laughs> but it doesn't mean that we're gonna be wanting to follow that model and I, we're not going to because it's it wouldn't be authentic snapgram snapgram <laughs> <laughs> Any other ideas? Insta snap. <laughs> so at this point, Instagram has been a nice six year run. Well, I should say probably a nice five, five year run. <laughs> but honestly, we miss community, we miss real interactions, and. We don't see anyone's post. Yeah, we miss our friends' posts. Yeah. And you know and we miss the creators who we follow that inspired us we don't see their stuff unless we re try to remember everyone's name and look up their profile but it's become a place where we just feel like we're uninspired and we want to reconnect and have a fresh start and we don't want to let the feeling what instagram insta talk whatever has become to make us change our ways or make us feel like we don't want to do what we love the most so with all that being said, what's next for Husky Squad? We had several coffee meetings with JC's Coffee. Like we usually do. Yeah, that's our normal We're thing. We're making big decisions. Important decisions. Like buying a tiny house. We're going to Europe with our pups and a bunch of other things we got cooking. So we did quite a few of those of what we're going to do. And here is our four step plan. What we're going to do about Insta talk. We're obviously going to continue uploading videos to this channel, Husky Squad, as well as Doggo Life. Yeah, it's definitely our favorite place, YouTube, so we're definitely going to continue doing that. We're excited to announce that we are now on Vero. Obviously, our handle is Husky Squad, and we are excited.
excited to share with you that 100% of our photography, I may slip here and there, but 100% of our photography is going to Vero and we are feeling re-inspired there because there is definitely a sense of community even with just a few people the interaction feels real there's no algorithm we see everyone we follow we we get to kind of feel again what we used to feel back in the day on instagram so it's really nice to be be there and from the little bit of time we've already spent on vero it's re-inspiring us to do new things we're actually going to start a special challenge on Vero with everyone who follows us there so be sure you go check that out um, we're probably gonna begin it on October 1st that's the yeah. plan yeah October 1st we're gonna do a special challenge with everybody on Vero so be sure you come join Vero if you're not there yet and if you are already there be sure to follow us and you will see in the um, the pinned post one of them will be the featured, challenge I think they're featured, featured post, post. post. yeah you will see the challenge information. So we're finally doing something again that we used to love back in the day in the Instagram days. So it's a really special place and we are so excited to be there. We're also very excited to announce that we're opening up our new Patreon account. Yeah, we've had that Patreon account for a while now, but we oh, didn't do right. anything with it. I just created it so we can save our name. We never Husky really Squad. published it. Yeah, we didn't do anything there at all and we still had generous support from some of you guys who found it which we really appreciate thank you yeah, so thank much you. for supporting us even though we didn't have anything there but we're actually now going to start uh, providing exclusive content we're going to be doing private lives special perks for for members and for all of you guys who are supporting us creating these amazing videos here on YouTube so we can do more of it and give you more of that so definitely go check out Husky Squad on Patreon and I'll be sure to leave here a link in the description of the video we will be hosting our first live um, on Saturday this coming Saturday seven days after publishing this video we were invited to a social media survey I guess that um, where you can sound off what you feel about um, social media platforms today what it's like what are your likes what are your dislikes and what we know is that anyone that fills in the survey gets put into a VIP list mm -hmm. to be invited um, to test something special in the future so we're very excited about that and um, we'll share that link in the description of this video so you can go check that out after all social media takes a ton of our time and it should be something that enhances our lives you have to do something that you love doing something that you have a passion for otherwise exactly it's just not gonna work so that um, filling in that survey allows you to kind of add your voice and i'm excited to see what's to come from that we hope that this video inspires you to do what you love and share in the places that you enjoy, places that you feel stress-free, a sense of community, and at the end of the day, it makes you feel good that what you are doing are things that you love. This is the whole point, and we hope this video is giving you that. So that's it. Since photography is such a big part of Husky Squad, we wanted to kind of vent a little, share with you what we've been experiencing for a while and what other people and creators are telling us they're experiencing for a while too. But we didn't want to just sit and complain and talk about it and you know kind of whine about it we wanted to also provide solutions so i hope this video gives you something and a direction where you can go this is where we're going and we hope that you'll find something that fits your needs and what makes you feel fulfilled so be sure to check out our new patreon page we'll leave it here linked in the description of this video make sure you follow us on our doggo life channel as well if you're a dog parent or if you're thinking about becoming a dog parent there's a ton of helpful content and of course if you're coming to vero be sure you leave it here in the comment section of this video so we can kind of all connect over there on what has become our replacement place for photography so we look forward to connect with you there our handle is husky squad like i said before and we're so excited to start over this is what it's all about and be able to do what we really love all right guys that's it for this video we would love to know in the comment section here what you think what your experiences are on instagram but let's remember one thing nothing changes if we don't change it we are making our move because we want to make a better impact in our life yours and we feel like this is something that we can do to be part of that so with that being said we'll see you guys on the brighter side yeah where we could actually see each other <laughs> Summer 